Joan of Arc endures today as a symbol of France, um, as a symbol of the French people, of French independence. This sculpture gives us the image of her at her greatest power. I'm Suzanne Lindsay, a professor of art history at the University of Pennsylvania here in Philadelphia. It was created by a French sculptor, Emmanuel Fremier, in 1889 to 1890. A group of French living in Philadelphia wanted to celebrate their French Revolution of 1789 at their 100-year anniversary in the place of America's own liberty. Joan of Arc represents liberty, the liberation from the English. My name is Diana Regan, and I'm the president of the Alliance Française de Philadelphie. This sculpture of Joan of Arc really shows her in her real nature. She was in command. She was fearless. It's Joan in the highest moment of victory. I'm Judith Shea. I'm a sculptor. I was born in Philadelphia. There was nothing about the young girl, Joan, that suggested she was anything special. She basically was just a girl. She knew how to sew. She's an uneducated, simple girl in a small town. And when she was about 12 or 13, suddenly, she began hearing voices. The voices of saints. Saint Margaret, Saint Catherine, and Michael the Archangel. And those voices told her to lead France against the English, who had been occupying it and tearing it down and isolating it from the rest of the world for over a hundred years. I mean, they were so desperate at that point. She earned one supporter after another, and she finally grew to lead the king's own troops against the English. So that's the depiction in the statue. It's her in victory, in command, and leading her people with absolute focus on this mission, but it's combined with this modesty of the woman, of the person, the girl, really. Fremier stood out as a major French sculptor who believed in making monuments life-sized. He felt art and life should stick closer together because the truth is in her greatness as a human being, as one of us. So there's all the strength, but without the bravado. Battle after battle, she won against the English until she was finally captured, sold to the English, who accused her of being a heretic. And it ended up with her being burned at the stake. She was 19 years old. This sculpture was originally given a dark brown patina, but it was gilded in 1960. As you can see, it has been recently regilded funded by the city and the Philadelphia French Heritage Society. That gilding is visually spectacular, but it also, for many people, is a symbol of her very specialness. And some would read this as part of her saintliness, others of just her exceptional qualities in history. She secured, really for all time, France as a country. Here she took on this chore to this extraordinary historic moment, this small woman on this big horse.